Hi guys, today is Salt Mesa right now. I'm just putting on the nail tips. Make sure like the feet like side walls to side walls. So yeah. The next thing I did was cutting out my nails the way I wanted and I buffed it with a sanding band. Secondly, I sprayed it with alcohol spray and I brushed it and I brushed it because I don't like when um, the dust are visible when I'm doing my acrylic application. So I always try to spray with alcohol spray to keep it clean and ready for my application. I forgot to recall my process but I went over it with a Valentino dehydrator and Young Nails Protein Burn. So right now, I'm putting my Munama in and I'll be using the Bad and Bougie by Valentino Acrylic Powder. And I'm using the Kia Sky acrylic brush, like guys, I keep saying, like, if you invest in good products, they're gonna work for you. Like, the Kia Sky brush is the best investment I've ever made, and I'm using the size 14. But, like, me personally, I don't get a hype about Valentino acrylic powder, because I feel like it's not as opaque. Because I have the Young Nose acrylic powder, and it's a really full cover, but whenever I use the Valentino acrylic powder, it's a bit, like, transparent at the end. And sometimes I don't like the look, but, yeah. I feel like this is, like, my favorite application I've ever done so far, but it looks so good. Like, guys, don't do too much. Like, I'm a beginner, so I'm still learning. And if you guys have any advice or tips, like, feel free to like, comment, them, comment them down below. I've been doing this for, like, 10 months now, so. Okay, guys, so right now, I did some of the shaping, but, like, okay, it's looking good. Um, I'm using my 80 over 80 Sunday, um, not Sunday brand. I'm using 80 over 80 nail file right now to, like, make the nail flatter. It could look a little bit more aggressively, but it's sped up, so, yeah. And I tried to hack her, like, multiple times if it hurt, and then she said no, so. And then I like this is like my favorite part of doing. So basically, um, I spray alcohol spray, and I said I like scrubbing the nails to make sure like there's like no debris left. But this is like my really favorite part, and it feels so refreshing. Okay, guys. So the original shape is a dark nail shape, but she wanted square as you can see. So we didn't square right now. I put the charms on, and right now I'm flash curling so that we can stay in place while I'm working on the other charms. Oh, I hate it whenever like um whenever I'm doing something and it goes out of frame and you can't even see the camera. That's like the most annoying thing ever. Okay guys, this is like a secret shot. So basically, you put top coat first, and then you put your glue in with your gem. So you don't care the top coat, you just put your top coat, and you put like the rhinestone glue on. And I feel like that way it helps the charm sticks better. And I also don't look awesome people, there's acrylics like glue the um, charms in. I only did it once, but then I did it for a client, but then she came back, saying like, oh, our charms fell off. But I think that was just alpha, because like, you know like when you're washing your hair, they are getting tangled all in. But, yeah. And then this is like my last steps. I kind of went in everything and I top coat it everything because you know like sometimes when you put the glue, like you have to put top coats on them or else links are going to be sticking on them, like if you touch your hair, it's going to stick on them and that's not supposed to happen. So I just went over everything and we top coated them. Lastly, um, I wiped the charms, like the Van Cleef charms. I wiped it with an alcohol. I wiped it to like be shiny and I also wiped the rest of my charms with the alcohol using the Link free wipe. And I filed the hedges because there was like a glue like dripping there, so I had to make sure everything was flat. If you guys could see properly, it was like the glue on the pinky, yeah.